Tonight, Lee, Bobby Jendo gets a big endorsement from... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're not talking about that. We're celebrating history. It's Big Gay Monday. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Great. Come on. Yeah. That's right, everybody. On Friday, history was made when the Supreme Court legalized same-sex marriage nationwide. Sing it, boys. All 50 states. have been given to the LGBTQ community. <laughs> so let's get this party started. This is the Nightly Show. Let's do this. Welcome to the nightly show. Man, look at the look at the set. This is beautiful. Nice little, nice little rainbow flavor going on here tonight. I'm Larry Wilmer. Tonight, in honor of the Supreme Court's decision to legalize marriage for everyone, welcome to Larry Wilmer's 2015 Yas Queen Yas Marriage Extravaganza. A slippery slope to happy night. everybody. Give it up. Very good. That was good. But we're calling today Big Gay Monday to celebrate what happened on Friday. Okay, let me set the scene, right? Reporters run the Supreme Court steps waiting for their producers to bring them the gay marriage ruling. Ah, but what network would have the story first? Would it be America's newsroom, Fox News? Ah, let's see. We have an opinion coming. We have the decision. We have the decision coming. It's coming. Sorry, Fox News. Maybe Jason ran off to marry his longtime partner. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe he's good. I don't know. Maybe he's seeking asylum from Fox News. Who knows? All I know is that Jason's not here. Jason! Jason! So upset. But the Supreme Court ruled 5-4 in favor of gay marriage. Now, Obama immediately got on the phone to congratulate the lead plaintiff in the decision, Jim Obergefell. All right. Take care. Thanks for the call, Mr. President. <laughs> Bye. The president says bye bye. <laughs> the, the president says bye bye. <laughs> Come on, Wolfman. You don't need to report that, all right? Not everything the president says requires the full powers of the situation room. Anyway, Obama wasn't done spreading the gay marriage love. Friday night, uh, Obama's White House was bathed in rainbow lights. In fact, everybody was in the rainbow spirit. Niagara Falls was lit up. So was the Empire State Building. Even Dick Cheney had rainbow lights at his house. <laughs> you did? Know? Sure. We're, not, we're not making that up. Dick Cheney got on board, man. Uh, 
Now, of course, everybody wasn't happy about the decision, but today is too momentous a day to spend a lot of time focusing on the haters, all right? So I'll tell you, what, here's a short look at the hatin' sponsored by HaterAid's cut rate competitor, Power HaterAid. <laughs> When you need to be successful at attacking other people's success, try Power Hater Aid. <laughs> it's blue, and it's a little cheaper than Hater Aid. Mmm, <laughs> salty. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, let's start in Louisiana. Governor and presidential candidate Bobby Jindal said that no earthly court can alter the definition of marriage. No earthly court. I mean, is there some kind of intergalactic court? I'm not... You, you, do, you do not want to take things to space court, Bobby Jindal. They are assholes in space court, right? <laughs> Those mother... They can read your mind in space court. Right? I don't believe you, Bobby Jindal. You just want to show on Fox News. Case dismissed. Get married, everybody. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, thank you. Space Corps. Anyway, Space Corps. Okay, now, presidential candidate Ted Cruz cruised over to the Today Show today and put it in Cruz control. One of the things Justice Scalia talks about, you've got nine lawyers. There are, they're all from Harvard or Yale. There are no Protestants on the court. There are no evangelicals on the court. There are no Muslims on the court. No Buddhists. No Klingons or Romulans. Once again, we gotta go to space court to find real court diversity. There we go. And what would a lot of conservative bloviating be without Donald Trump? That's right. So Trump sat down for the classiest, most incredible interview ever. Uh, with, with C thank you, thank you very much. With, uh, with CNN's Jake Tapper this week, okay, here's what happened when the topic veered to gay marriage. I'm traditional marriage. It is changing rapidly. But what do you say to a, a lesbian who's married or a gay man who's married who says, Donald Trump, what's traditional about being married three times? Well, I, I, they have a very good point. No, they have an excellent <laughs> boy. <laughs> Jake Tapper, you just tappered that ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy! And finally, Justice Clarence Thomas. <sighs> He's not a Republican candidate, but I do wish he would run into an open pit. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't stop myself, you guys. I just can't. Okay, so he chose to focus on the issue of dignity. And of course, he used the obvious slave analogy. According to Thomas, slaves did not lose their dignity any more than they lost their humanity because the government allowed them to be enslaved. <laughs> Do you even know what slavery is? <laughs> right? I mean, slavery is the complete stripping of humanity and dignity. That's the point of slavery. And when do you think slaves were whipped? Whenever they dared to try to show any humanity or dignity. Clarence, please approach the bench and then jump off of it. <laughs> Into that same aforementioned pit, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. Look, that's what the whole gay marriage fight has been all about. Not about changing definitions or upsetting institutions. The fight has simply been about humanity and dignity. We'll be right back. <laughs>